What's good with Sorry Wise Girl Kids? And today we're going to be watching Enola Holmes, the first one. <laughs> I really do hope like it's like a little mystery, like a little who done it, because y'all know how I feel about my mysteries. I love me a good mystery. The first thing you need to know is that my mother named me Anola, and Anola spelled backwards. Reads well. Ola. Oh. You're not smart. My father died when I was young. Is that Bellatrix Lestrange? Is it? I can't. That's her, right? She was not an ordinary mother. She didn't teach me to string seashells or practice my embroidery. I mean, my mom didn't either, so. Yes! Miss Bellatrix. I love, um, what's her name? Helena? Helena, Helena, whatever. She's phenomenal. And be anyone. Did she die? She was my whole world. Ugh. Of course. But she didn't share everything with me. Oh, she's not dead? Okay. Jump the gun a little bit there. What's happening? Mother secret privacy was the highest virtue. We're having secret meetings? What's this about? A week ago, on the July morning of my 16th birthday, she was murdered. To find that my mother was missing. <gasps> Disappearance, abduction, okay. Here's the mystery, right? She'd left Fandor Hall, our home. Le leaving you alone. Night. Mother? And now you are alone, Miss Enola. She left me with little bars and gifts that she instructed Mrs. Lane to give me at tea time. So you have to find the mystery of like, um, you have to solve the mystery of her disappearance. She wants you to figure out where she's at, right? Is that I'm presently on the way to collect my brothers, Mycroft and Sherlock. Sherlock. Sherlock Holmes, my genius brother. So, what? Uh, they didn't recognize you? They don't recognize you. And the fifth thing you need to know is that they haven't seen me in quite some time. Enola. Enola. <laughs> my God. Look at you. What did you girls You're expect? Oh dear God, look at the house. I was not expecting our brothers to show up and just like tear her to shreds. Like, <laughs> y'all can go back from which you came. What is this? A tennis racket? Okay. Mm, genius. Maybe Ooh. it's only for him. How don't you know what a tennis racket is? I suppose that's game. Tennis in the house? That's unheard of. Unseemly. Mm. Well, she's not like other moms. She's a cool mom. Okay, so Sherlock Holmes is here to find his mother, but it's gonna be Enola who has to find her. She disguised her intentions perfectly. That's good news, is it not? Depends if you're relying on her coming back. So she's not dead. She's not kidnapped. She decides to leave, but I don't think that she would leave her daughter just all helpless with, you know, just the maid. So why did she leave? A music teacher, a dance instructor, a governess. Enola, you at least had a governess. What is that? She wouldn't like you in here. This is her private space. So that's why she's at the door. She valued education. She taught me herself. Y'all are being very judgmental for two couple boys, for two pair of boys who disappeared and haven't seen me in years. Which mother said was the best way to become a young woman. Well, this is what she wanted you to become. Micro. He's cute. What? <laughs> They're both attractive with the other one? He's cute. What's his name? Finding a boarding school that is willing to take an owner on so she won't be a complete failure in this world. You know who will fit well in this movie? Emma Thompson, is that her name? The one who played Nanny McPhee? She just, I can just, I'm just getting her vibe. How delightful, Miss Harrison. So we're not sending her away, we can't. She's gonna run away, right? She needs a firm hand, Sherlock. How would you know what she needs? You haven't been here in years. We need to break her and build her up. What do you mean, break her? What is this? Chest 33 inches. Well, that's too small. They're yeah, perfectly fine. Hips 35 inches. We will have to use an amplifier. Oh. For what? What are we doing to her? She's a kid, not a prostitute. Why, do we, why does she need to go to your ridiculous school? <laughs> Run away! Excuse me? I just, I literally just met you. I'm sorry. I just met you. Like, it's been only two hours. You don't get to put your hands on me yet. You're done. You have no hope of making a husband in your current state. I don't want a husband. She's literally only 16. You need to have educated out of you. Oh my goodness. I can't stand him. He's cute, but I can't stand him. Don't let him do this to Come me. on, Sherlock. You are his ward. What the heck does that even mean? Just like his cruelty to our mother was out of your hands. Right, who is he? He's our brother, but who is he to the family? So remarkable that she left you in my care. 
Yeah, we're gonna have to talk to her. We're gonna have to talk to her about that one. You had a pine cone wrapped in wool. Dragged it with you wherever you went. Calling it Dash. We can never persuade you to put any trousers on. Your bottom was always bare. So he was obviously the nicer brother. I want my mother back here and my life as it was. You're being emotional. It's She's 16. But unnecessary. Look for what's there, not what you want to be there. You'll see the truth soon enough. So what? She's going to be his little protege? <laughs> my and look, Chrysanthemum. Another look at my chrysanthemums. So my mom is just literally just putting us on a wild goose hunt. For what? For what? My chrysanthemums. A Not drawing? The ones she bought. The ones she painted. Our future is up to us. There are two paths you can take, Anola. Yours or the path others choose for you. Words of wisdom. Is up to us. She's gonna run away. I'm not going to finishing school. Oops, he had the carriage drop him here this morning. He must be here somewhere. Dan, this is my son. It leaves now. What is this random drama? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Loser! What the? Who's inside there? An escape artist? Oh, it is a pretty big bag. But who carried you? What the? Oh, that's the boy that the, the man was looking for. Hello. Get out of this carriage right now. I mean, technically, he was there first. I'm Viscount Tewkesbury, the Marquis of Basil Weather. Why does it sound like a lie? <laughs> you just made that up! And once he finds you, he will think I helped hide you, and I will be endangered by this. Therefore, I ask you to get out of this carriage. Well, we're both on the run. Let's stick together. It'll be fine. Thirty seconds seconds later. He's coming. Thirty seven seconds later. You have to help me. Get back in the bag. You really do remind me of my uncle. He had that same stare. I see little enemies to lovers, maybe. Don't be thrown off course by other people, especially men. <sighs> wise words, madam. Wise words. Come on, girl. Your mother's right. What the? Is he trying to push him or save him? I knew that was a bad idea. I thought she was gonna take the cane and like wring his neck like that and like pull him back. Who was that? He was trying to kill me. I thought you knew him. I thought he was your. Why is he trying to kill you? What have you gotten yourself into? Terribly sorry. Is he like rich or he's like the heir or something? Probably. Do you trust me? Not exactly. We just met each other. <sighs> you make an awful lot of noise, don't you? It turns out being thrown off a train hurts considerably more than you might think. <laughs> and I've lost a button. That's funny. And I lost a button. <laughs> I like this kid. Anola Holmes. Uh, like Sherlock. And I am undercover, so forget I told you that piece of information. Where are we going? This is an so? open field. There's no civilization anywhere. How far are we going to be walking? That's my question. You're supposed to say thank you. For what? <laughs> I like this kid, he's funny. The nerve, the nerve of some men, boys. He's a boy. We should think about eating soon. We have nothing to eat. Arctium lapper, trifolium. Okay, he's educated. If you can get a fire started, I can make us a feast. Okay, Princess Diana. How do you feel about your hair? I've never cared for it. Don't cut it, please, no. Don't cut it, no. Do you have to be quite so brutal with the hair? Yes. When she said yes there, she reminded me of Elle. Then thank you, Enola Holmes, for helping me here. You were supposed to have forgotten that name. Then you'll have to find another. Oh, he's saying he won't forget it. Oh, they're cute. Come on, come on. Enola. He'll be fine. Will you be fine? I must admit. Vice Oh, that is his name. I thought it was a made-up name. Vice Count to... Vice Count to Waskaby? To Wiskaby? Whatever. Your job, I made clear, was to find Mother. I'm looking for her too, as well. So does he just run us? I don't get who he is and what's his job. How do you get to tell him what his job is? Never cared about her before. She's only 16. Right. What is up with him? Ooh. Minecraft? That's still his sister. She may have escaped us for now, but I have the best police officers in London looking for a child matching her description. Ha! She changed it. And I shall respect it. We don't look like it will. We don't smell like you will. Do you have anywhere I can dress? <laughs> Change attitude real quick. Okay. 
Yes. Is this really good value? Oh, best value you'll find. This is good value. Come on. I know you, I'm loaded. Give me something better than this. Ew, that's absolutely not. I could never stay here. Let's go find a different place, please. We're not desperate. To find Mother, the first thing I need to do is leave a cipher in every newspaper she might read. I placed it in the personal advertisements column of the Pall Mall Gazette. This gentleman seems to be getting a lot of attention. Well, he's a blooming Marquis. Oh, he's the Marquis? What is that? I'm sorry. I don't know that. Is he actually a boy or is he really a man? What is a Marquis and why is he it? I'm sorry, I'm not familiar with those terms. Who's up there? Noisy bloody women. No. Tom, oh, okay, I see. Over. Reform. Where's your first teacher? Oh. <laughs> okay, period. At least she can probably handle herself. I have money, lodgings, I just need to find her. Honestly, she's making her way in the world, through the world, quite nicely. Man, I guess it's pretty easy when your mom leaves you money. She has work to do. What work? I cannot say. Entangle her or Ellie Houseman. Oh, I see what's happening. Okay, so she's like the leader of a women's movement, some type of women's movement or something, right? Hey! Ooh! <sighs> the corkscrew. You can never manage that one, could you? Bank men met. Entangle her. What the heck does this mean? Bank men met. Bank men met. The embankment. Good decision. Oh. Herb? Entangle her. Entangle her. Entangle. Oh. I'm not gonna even try to figure anything out. <laughs> Unless we're dealing with the murder mystery, I'm lost. Who's watching her? Someone's watching her. Is it a boy? It's probably that boy. Or not. Okay, so women's voting rights movement. Uh, what are we gonna do with the gunpowder though? You are dangerous. Well, I guess the best way to send a message is to blow a few people up. Take some heads off. Wow, that's why she was practicing science. Ooh. Where is the Marquis? We parted ways, you idiot. Go find him yourself. We went our separate ways. It doesn't matter how many times you do this. I don't know where he's at, you idiot. He didn't tell me. Can you pretend to be dead? Duh. I've always wanted people to do that. Like, just pretend. I feel like it would work. I feel like it would work really well in real life. I'm not sure I ever described how a typical day's education worked with my mother. We'd start with history. And after lunch, I'd focus on fitness, followed by fight combat. Okay, so maybe she didn't do with the no little things she did with her brothers because she's a girl and she wanted to raise her differently in the way she'll be able to like survive in society. Like actually survive with fighting skills and all other type of skills, you know? So that's why she didn't send her off to school and whatnot because she wanted to teach her herself. Because if she taught, if she sent her to school, she would have came back like, you know, a little, a proper young lady and whatnot. She said, I don't want that for my daughter. Did you get, are you gonna get it? Are you gonna get it? You still can't get it? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. We were all, we almost escaped. How about we not try moves we're not good at? You weren't good at it five seconds ago. You're not gonna be good at it now. <laughs> what? The corset? Ooh. No more surprises. <gasps> no. Only gunpowder. Fireworks. Fourth of July. Hi. Fourth of July. This is England. <laughs> it is good to care for the vulnerable but not if it means risking your life. I did not ask for the Viscount to experience Marquess of Azzaweather in my life. Bones, count, two squisk better, Marquess. Girl, his name is too long. For the Viscount to experience Marquess of Azzaweather. Bones, count, two squisk That last one is getting me, that second one is getting me. The Viscount, two squisk Marquess of Belthazar. She would have me leave him. He is foolish and proud and utterly ridiculous. Do you even know where he's at? Cause you sound like you're trying to go get him and help him. Found in to Scaberry. To West. At the end of this movie, by the end of the movie, I will have it down. Belsweather Hall, okay? Bassweather. So he's like the Lord of the estate. Whoa, I knew he was rich. I thought he was lying when he said his name was Vals Count Tuscaberry, whatever, whatever, whatever. It sounds like a lie. It sounds like a made up name. It's safest to travel as a widow. Widow scare them. And there's no better disguise than fear. I feel like that's something Wednesday would wear. For the Lady Tewksbury, 
Marchioness of Basel. Tuskaberry. Tuskaberry. Viscount Tuskaberry. Marquise Belsweather. Something sounds off, though. Sherlock Holmes is interested in our case. Sent along a widow to fleece his path. So, a very good issue to take. They're looking, is the case, the case of them looking for Tuskaberry? That can't be the case. He just disappeared. I'm sorry, but I've heard enough. You do not know Sherlock Holmes. No. Oh, yes I do, you blithering idiot. How are you gonna just waltz in here and say I don't know him when I obviously know him? And you are not his assistant. Maybe I'm not his assistant, but I definitely know him. I'll pay you five pounds to swap clothes with me. Grab a book and have a seat and I'll be with you as soon as I'm free. Delightful. Whatever you think you know. He's such a cutie. Enola is on her own path, and so, for better or worse, is Eudoria. But I suspect that she needs you. So everyone keeps telling me. I love how deep his voice is. <laughs> this guy is so annoying. He's lucky he's cute. Let me, what's this? Who is he? Let me just see who he is. <laughs> Sam Claflin. He is cute. He's so cute. <laughs> Wait, that's him from Hunger Games. Finnick. He's cute. You explicitly told me to look for a scrappy girl with no poise. Oh, that's who you sent to look for her? Oh, there's a wild thing underneath that, I assure you. Dang, you almost had her, sir. Find her, and you will be well rewarded. I mean, technically, I did find her. Maybe you should be more clear. How about bring her to me? Because I deserve the reward. I found her. The tree branch broke above me as I was collecting wild mushrooms. It should have crushed me. Did someone chop it? Oh, you tickle me, Viscount Tewksbury. Tewksbury. Viscount Tewksbury. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting how to say it. Some of those branches are extremely capricious. Can you not scare the living daylights out of me? I'll have to let the gardener go for lending you his uniform. No, you can't do that. No. It always felt an honor to me that my family was given this. Vice Count Tuskaberry, Marquis Basilweather. Marquis of Basilweather. Why if you're passionate about flowers, would you come to London? Because I can be lost here. And yet I found you. And why have you done so? I liked him better with the long hair. With the long hair, he really looked like a vice count. I've grown to like you more in your absence, and because, as it turns out, your life is still in danger. What's made you like me more? That is your question. <laughs> not who is trying to kill me. You could change your mind about a boy. I'm not a boy. I'm a man. You're a man when I tell you you're a man. Oh, period. Girl boss gatekeep gaslight. Oh my goodness, now she's missing. Don't look at me like that. At least we've got each other. At least we got each other. I'll make her some tea. Is this like her first interaction with a boy? Do you genuinely believe my life's in danger? Sir, so someone tried to kill me. So now you're saying you think they killed my father? It would have been easier to kill me before I ran away. What the heck? It had been cut. Cut? Oh no, that's the other guy. Help me get in through this door. Well, I'll help you when I get my money. My finders. Oh, uh, you turned her in. If he catches you, your life will be in danger if he catches me. It's simply a life I do not want. He's worth more, but you give me greater pleasure. So you did all of that. You are greedy, Miss Ma'am. You are very greedy. I just gave you a whole bunch of money earlier when I bought this dress. You may not like me. You may not think what I'm doing is right. Minecraft, please. Shut up. I want you to be happy. No. No, you don't. You want yourself to be happy and rid of her you want burden. You to be happy. Exactly. I will affect your standing. You already have done immense damage. Great. I'm ready to do some more. You're lucky you're cute. <laughs> That's the only thing I can say about him. You're lucky you're cute. Like pleasure. You are my rod! And you will do as you are told! Okay. I mean not okay. I feel bad for her. Focus, come on. The next time you meet your brothers, they will have reason to be proud of you. Welcome. You should be more inviting. No one wants to come to your school. Into young ladies. Young How ladies. We love politely. You Eyes up, up, up. I can do that. I have great balance. What whim led White Whitney? What? I'm Ned White Whitley to Whittle. Who once stood where you do now. Oh, Perry, you girls are boring. 
We could run this school. Do y'all not know that? Do y'all not understand the power that we have, okay? It's all of us against them. I prepare my girls for the world, for the real world. For the old world. My mother's getting ready to start a revolution, okay? This old way of living, gone in the dust. You'll thank me one day when you're happily married with a pair of strapping boys. Imagine she bears the vice count. I'm just thinking about her future here. Servants, gardeners, all you can eat. That's the life. You're going quite mad. The right to be mad in a place like this. I was forced into calligraphy as a child. This is not the same thing. Sometimes you must dangle your feet in the water in order to attract the sharks. Delivery from Farmdale Hall. Don't answer it. Wait. Care of Mr. Mycroft Holmes. What does Minecraft want? Uh, what does Minecraft want? Right. The boy. Are you inside? He is a very flexible young lad. Mycroft Holmes. Mycroft Holmes. Girl, please. You got a little crush on Minecraft? Why are you twaddling over there? Twaddling? <laughs> she has a thing for Minecraft. I understand. <laughs> Trust me, I do. We need to go to Bazaweather. What? Oh, no, the same as my father, I'd be for it. Who knew that? Ooh, and who's your family? to gain the estate with your father dead and if you die? Your mother. Your grandmother. Uncle. No, huh. no of course. It's always the uncle. It's always the uncle. You have to dangle your legs in the water to attract the bloody sharks. Why would you want to attract the bloody sharks? Yeah, why would we want that? Mother? What's happening? What is this? Why is it a horror movie now? They know him. What the heck? This is creepy. Down! <laughs> so is it his entire family trying to kill him? Why did we come here? Oh, that's the murderer, man. I thought that was the uncle. All right, come on, Vice Count, Vice Count, Vice Count, whoever. Tewksbury, Tewksbury, Vice Count, Marquis of Basilweather. Wow. This movie's kind of dark. She got it down. She got it. She got it. She got it. She got it. Oh. We killed him. This movie's dark. What the frick? I was not expecting that. Oh my goodness. Well, out like a light. Oh, he's not dead? I for sure thought that was a kill shot. Who do you work for? England. You thought you ate? Now die. <laughs> he thought he ate with that England. Shut up. Who's this? So it was the grandmother. It seems if you want a job done. Knew it. You have to do it yourself. Knew it. Knew it. Knew it, bro. You see, when a murder's involved, I always know who to call first, bro. She went for the uncle, but I said grandmother first because it's, come on, it's, it has to be the grandmother. All this deciphering codes and words and whatnot, you can keep that. But for me, I'm gonna find the killer. <laughs> what? Why didn't you duck? You was too old for this. You is too old. Go sit down. You are very old and you need to play your age and not 12. Maybe he has a bulletproof vest on. There's no way Tewksbury's dead. What the heck? He has such great potential. No. Such a life ahead of him. Does he have a corset on? I'm not entirely an idiot, you know. Ooh, is it a corset? Oh, steel plate. <laughs> It'd be funny if he had a corset on. You're literally crazy. You look insane. It's time to be yeah, put down. Okay, that's kind of rude. Not put down, but you, you need somebody to care for you. <laughs> Did I just say that's rude? That's not rude. She just tried to kill her grandson. She needs to be put down. How did your sister get there before you? I'm sorry. <laughs> but honestly, I figured it out before them too. <laughs> your father would be very proud of you. Actually, he looks older with his hair cut. Or maybe I forgot what he looks like with his hair long. Mother has said that there's um there's always one for you with us. Your mother clearly hasn't spent enough time with me. And what if it was I that asked you to stay? Well, Vice Count, Marquise, Kiss, whoever. When will I see you again? You're not rid of me yet, Viscount. Took through my quest of Viscount, Vice Count, I don't care. Oh, cuties, cuties, patooties. But I also believe that you'd be too intrigued not to be here all the same. Unfortunately, you were wrong. Minecraft, stay out of this. If we do find her again, I'd like her to be my ward. I'll Yay! That's her. Mother or Viscount. 
Mother. This is a surprisingly nice room. Okay, Mother. I see you're here. Why don't you explain yourself? I'm sorry. Are you? You could at least left a note, not a little mystery. I left for you because I couldn't bear to have this world be your future. So I had to fight. What a woman you've become. Oh. You have to go. Yes, but let's just stay like this for a bit. Well, I mean, I, I guess. I still think it's weird. <laughs> well, if she can handle herself out here in the world, it's fine. But I now see that being alone doesn't mean I have to be lonely. So what I are you going to do? Okay. I am a decipherer. And I am a finder of lost souls. <laughs> and the future is up to us. Okay. Great little message there. Enola Holmes. Is there an end credit? No, the curtain's closing. Okay, well, pretty decent movie. Long. Honestly, um, what was the reform bill? The reform bill was, what were we reforming? I don't know. I didn't, wasn't really keeping up with that part of the movie, but I did like the, um, the mystery aspects of it. <laughs> I enjoy the boy. I thought he was fun. I wish we had more of him in the movie, but, um, I like the message of the movie. And yeah, she's a little detective, the cipher, so what other mysteries is she going to be solving or... I guess that's where we're going with her story. Anywho, I enjoyed the movie. If you guys enjoyed this video, do not forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Girl, Kia, Jay, bye.